in-depth look at one of the week's big stories is the segment that's twice as important as AC360, Philip Wilburn and TSW720. Thank you, Melissa and Kipley. This past week was a tough one for BP CEO Tony Hayward. On Thursday, he was grilled on Capitol Hill. On Friday, there were reports circulating that he was going to step down from the daily oil spill cleanup. And on Saturday, he was ridiculed for going on a yacht race. <laughs> Under all this pressure, could Tony Hayward's behavior become unstable, even criminal, I ask? Here, with expert analysis, analysis easy for me to say, is FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit from Guanaco, Virginia, Dr. Oh, thank you for being here. I, I've never delivered a profile to a room this big, so I brought my... You know, All these people are your friends, so you're good. That's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Dr. Reed, in observing Tony Hayward, have you noticed anything unusual in his behavior? I have indeed. Yes, I've been profiling him for a while now, and I've come to the conclusion, without a shadow of a doubt, that this guy is a charismatic psychopath. <laughs> really? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you see, charismatic psychopaths display a host of various traits. Uh, they're friendly, they're talented, they're duplicitous. A lesser known fact is that their nostrils are about an eighth of an inch incongruous. If you look at <laughs> the rest of the mirror, of course. Sure. His nostril was about that big on the left, that big on the right. Hayward has the exact same situation going on. Wow. I mean, you got all of this from just watching him on videotape? I'm a genius, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, did you learn anything from watching his testimony before Congress? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I, allow me to turn your attention to uh, my profile board up here. What? <laughs> That's really nice. Thank you. I, uh, I crafted it myself. Um, anyway, the board, if you notice, as Hayward, the charges were being read to him, he appeared stony-faced and unruffled, much like a Grecian god, a statue, if you will, completely unfazable. But if you paid attention, as I did, and looked closely at his hands, you would have noticed the micromanaging going on. He fondled the big pen, he turned the cap 13 times to the left. Now, a tenth of serial killers have what's called in Latin as columnus eruptus. It's basically a term that applies to much of the animal kingdom, baboons. Uh, chimpanzees, uh, occasionally sn flying snakes will do this. They back into the corner and they fidget to the point where they actually claw their own eyes out. I'm shockingly surprised that Hayward would not do that. <laughs> That's very interesting. But yeah, and as it went on, and Hayward read his statement, you would notice that he showed a passable amount of contrition. Uh, basically, you know, fake concern, docile, sort of porpinish. Uh, the interrogation, though, as it went wayward, became more aggressive. And you would notice that his aggression turned to the point where he himself was becoming the aggressor, not being aggressed upon, which definitely rattled him, proving that he's a monster. But finally, uh, my final point, and then I'll, I'll, I'll zip it, is that this photo of him on the yacht, I think that proves mostly that he's a charismatic psycho. Oh, could, could I? Let me try this. Uh, his posture exhibits uh, disconnect from responsibility uh, the, to the oil spill, a total disregard of the situation at hand, and, on uh, I can do anything and get away with it kind of situation, which is emblematic of classic psychopathic behavior. No, actually, it just basically shows he's a world class asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Spencer Reed, everybody! <laughs> and finally, country singer Jimmy Dean and creator of Jimmy Dean's Sausages died at age 81. Dean's passing means that the new sausage king of America is rocker Tommy Lee. <laughs> the Top Story Weekly, I'm Philip Wilburn, and since y'all been doing it all night, let me just get one of you.